But this spot. Thought it was basil. It's marjoram. Sweet marjoram. Is that how you say it? Marjoram? Mar I don't know. Let's <laughs> we'll see the tag. Uh, marjoram. I can't believe how big it is because when we planted it, it was a really tiny plant. And now it's taken up what, like, I would say two thirds of the garden bed. Yeah, and all my other plants are dead. Besides that well, this one. isn't. This is lemon ruby. Oh, I can't smell it over the marjoram. Mm, this plant over here. I can't smell marjoram. It, it's really strong. Oh, this is lemon thyme. Oh, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. My thyme. It just smells lemony. And it explains why it's so woody and brown, because that's thyme. Which we should harvest that one. Oh, I damn smelled it. Oh! <laughs> Okay, while you're clipping it, I'm gonna just pull some off. I didn't know where another pair of scissors are, besides like the hair cutting scissors, so I didn't want to grab those. I don't think your grandfather would appreciate that. What is that? I think it's mint. It kept stabbing. No, maybe not. There's no mint in this bed. It kept stabbing me, so I just. Hey, look, this it. one has a little root on it. No more root. That's not more drink. I don't know. I can't believe it's taken over such a huge majority of this bed. Yeah, that's my, this is my garden. All of the chives have died. Yep. And this is all that's left. And that's the thyme. Thyme. It has, it has an H, but the H is silent. And it's pronounced thyme. I just call it thyme. I am curious where it, Oh, look, this one really does have a root on it. See that? We could plant this somewhere else in a different garden bed. Sure, why not? Okay, I'll set it to the side. Actually, I'm wondering if we could get a few. Ooh, that's a big one. Look at this. Damn. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Um, can I borrow those scissors? Or actually, can you just cut this in half? I can't see okay. it. Okay. Okay. Look, it's like a whole plant. It is a whole plant. It is a whole plant. We can plant this somewhere else and then Beach start a whole nother please. time garden. That would be cool because then, I mean, this is, I keep saying time, but this isn't time. The time's over here. This is Marjor. We can start I mean, a whole, time, it's you know. Fine. Look, this one is coming up too. It's like a whole nother plant. Mm. So we can actually probably separate this out in several plants really easily. Yeah, I just cut multiple at once and it's very good to... Question is, where do we want to plant other herbs at? There's mm -hmm. a whole piece of leaf in there. There's a leaf in there. It would be cool to let the marjoram oh, take over this entire garden, but as much meat as we eat, and that's primarily, I think, what this is used to season, it would be nice to let this propagate in a oh, huge area. Oh, yeah, that. I just got like a bunch of them. Yeah, he does. Like, look at that. This, I don't even think this has really made a dent in what there is available. There we go. That is a lot. Very sleepy. Yeah, and look how much is left. It's it and it can become... I'm oh. really concerned. It looks like the roots are actually pretty shallow because this one... really like an entire plant and I accidentally pulled it up when I was pulling up the other piece to plant somewhere else. It really seems like most of these plants are shallow rooted. I cannot believe how big this plant has grown and this is a piece that I said we were separating into another plant which could be separating to multiple plants. This is the first one that I found that was fairly small. So we actually have multiple time plants now. <laughs> you know we do that for your sister's therapy. Part of her occupational therapy, you've actually cut the grass with kitchen scissors or safety scissors mm -hmm. as a therapy activity to build up hand strength. There. I still Look can't believe how big this marjoram has gotten. Not anymore. Right. I cut 
cut it down. I don't, I know we could probably harvest a little more in our bucket, but I'm like, how much can we handle drying? And what's the best way to dry this? Probably to dry it on a tree and then grind it. But I am a little concerned with how strong the scent will be inside the kitchen. Oh, what? You remember last time? Yeah, the mint was, it was at the mint we were dehydrating. It was way over very. I don't know how we're going to do mint this time. I thinking outside because your aunt's actually allergic to it. Hi, little sister. You never pressed record. No, I did, <laughs> but I paused it for a minute. So I'm going to dig a hole right here where this one was and put it kind of back in the ground and then put soil back up around it like that. You know what's strange? As much water as we've received from rain the last couple weeks, this plant is actually fairly dry. Here. No more scissors. Scissors. So, in a lot of places, I've used um, that compost, which I used it in here too. But I think this is the bed that we originally filled it with like organic miracle grow or something random that we had. And I'm not even. Steroids for plants. Steroids for plants. <laughs> yeah. So. It's like a totally different texture than everything else, but it does have this Come on. on top of it. We need to clean out this bed because there's a lot of random stuff growing in here that I have no idea what it is. Probably wouldn't hurt to clean it out. So. A bit of a long mess. piece of grass. Yeah, there's a lot of long pieces of grass because we need to weed eat. I have not done a good job of taking care of the grass. I'm thinking next semester. If I go to school, it's going to be part-time because I'm a little burnt out and I really want to be able to focus more on the garden. So that's what the marjoram looks like after being trimmed down. Pretty significant difference. There's still quite a bit we could probably trim back, but this whole container is full and that's actually quite a bit. You know, And then we need to find a place to transplant these marjoram, so I think I have an idea for that. Okay, so what we're thinking is now that we have these two marjoram plants, we could probably put it where the onions used to be in this container, which actually hasn't grown anything since those onions were pulled out. But we need to clear out all the weeds in order to plant it, I think. So do you want to help me? Mm -hmm. Just throw it? Yeah. Over the fence. I was thinking about bringing the chickens in here and letting them clear out some of the weeds, but I need to cut down the fencing. I was doing schoolwork all day, that's what I've been doing, but yeah. I'm so burnt out. So it's been busy. I know. I was planning on going to school full time next semester, but like I said, I'm over it. Oh god. What'd you do? Oh, that it's doesn't look so great. having my hand here so I won't fall. Uh, yeah. Oh, on the tree bark? Yeah. It's crazy to think this entire bed is just an old tree that was in the driveway that needed to come down. But I, at the time, we couldn't really afford wood for the bed, so it seemed like the best option was to use the tree that we were already going to throw away anyways. And honestly, I know a lot of people warn about using trees because they continue to break down, which can suck nitrogen out of the soil. But... I feel like our plants, it actually has done pretty well. The okra didn't do so well, but I think that's more because the okra seed wasn't good. Usually I'm not in most of your videos, but now since we live together, I'm always in <laughs> Yeah, it would make sense that if you stay here with me all the time, you would be in quite a few of my videos, right? Yeah. Ugh. I've been in about like two since we've been here. Yeah. That one when we were doing the pumpkins and then... The one where you helped me move the garden bed that day. Oh, right. Too. Yeah, that one too. You've actually probably been in more than two of them. Yeah. You're always kind of around. 
I'm not in them. I'm like behind you, not in them. That's how I am a lot of the times. I'm not always in them, but I'm kind of behind the scenes. <laughs> like I'm there, but not if that yeah, makes sense. You, most of your videos, you don't really show your face in because you, you don't really have to. Yeah, it's you, easier to show what I'm doing than show myself. And yep, I there's the bus. Oh, yeah, there's the school bus. That's a different school bus than usual. Yeah. wonder why. Weird. Mom said that she's putting us in there because we because the bus stop is right in front of our house. That's convenient. So, so, how, so Mom won't have to drive. What do you think about going back to public school after being homeschooling for a bit? Are mm. you you're excited? Depends. I want to go back to Clark, but it's too far away from here. That makes sense. I want to see my friend again. Well, talk to your mom about it. But yeah, the district's different over here, isn't it? Well, on the upside... Ed, Jack wants to... Jack? A little snail hanging out in the garden. I'm going to put him in the garden. There's a little bit of grass in here that doesn't need to be. Yeah. There's still so much grass around the edges, but there's an ant pile in here. And that's the part that I don't know. So what I think is after we plant the marjoram, maybe we should yeah. put something around it and then fence this area off and let so the So like, hens. are we gonna put it like right here? We can put it in the middle. You actually have two plants in your hand. There was a little one and a big one. Yeah, we gotta dig some to get it in here. Just use our hands because when I was taking stuff to storage the other day, I think I accidentally took my tiny shovel. Nope, it's out. It's not in. The hand shovel? Yeah. Oh, where is it? Over there. Okay, can you put that in here? It's over put, there. Put the marjoram in here. Just put it. Yeah, there you go. And then we'll just scoop this up around it. Now I have we'll have to water it in some. And I have a feeling that this, once watered in, as long as it stays fairly, not, I guess as long as it doesn't freeze, but marjoram comes back every year because we planted this, what, last year, year before last, and it's still in that garden bed over there. So I think as long as we water it in. I put it, I put some of these in the middle so it would go back in, in like. Oh, okay, there. I see that. In the middle of it. Like, yeah, it's so intense. I think as long as we water it in and then if it freezes keeps it keep it covered yeah, it should continue to there. grow oh well let's go find that because i actually have a few other things i want to find so these are well these oak are taking a long time to grow oh they were growing quite a bit but it, they don't really grow in the cold weather they're a warm weather crop and that's why they're not growing as much now you can kind of see some oak are still producing I was planning on pulling all these okra out actually and then cleaning out all of this grass yeah. and planting maybe some keller lettuce. Yeah. We have a lot of that and we have yeah, we a have lot of carrots. Meat. We have like too much okra too. Yeah, we do. Are we just going to put these in the uh, compost bin then? Maybe to the chickens. The chickens would like that. Yes, they would. Okay, so I guess what we're going to do now is just put it in that hole. It is that hole. Oh, that's where that other okra plant was. Okay, what we need to do now is see where the sweet basil is. <laughs> we need to pull up this okra, but not the sweet basil. Which is sweet basil, if you look right here, it's actually producing little sweet basils. Which is cool. Sweet basil will probably die now. Oh, we gotta pick up that. Yeah, can you pull it, or is that too much for you? There you go. Not at all. Okay, throw that down, and we'll give it to the chickens. Just put it like <laughs> Do you smell the sweet basil? And... Okay, if you want to. And this one too? Yes, ma'am. So we're pulling up all of the okra in order to make room for other plants, which right we'll here. go through the seeds, but we have a lot of kale and a lot of um, lettuce, right? Careful. That one's, look how big the roots are on this. It's a pretty good sized plant there. Jeez, then this one is the last okra. Yeah, you are a lot stronger, aren't you? Want to get the last one? Or you want me to get it? I got it. This one's a lot harder. Yeah, it is. 
I think it's because that soil was compacted being in a hill. That's where those um, squash were grown. All right, want me to try? Sure, I'll hold the phone. Okay, you hold the phone, but hold it like this. Come here, I'll show you. See, that way we're not accidentally getting other people's houses or anything else in the front. Ready? Yeah. Oh, no. <sighs> oh, look at the roots. It looks like something's eating the roots. Can you get up close to that? Yeah. It looks like something's eating the roots. There's a lot of nematodes in the roots. Oh, look, there's, what is that, a silverfish? Where? Oh, yeah. See that black insect right there? Yeah. So, look at that. Yeah. It's not focusing. There's a lot of something. Oh, no, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Can you get it now? Let's see. There it is in the middle of the camera. This black insect right there is what I'm talking about. Sometimes the camera has a hard time. There it is. There it is. Boop. Oh, it's not man. focused. Oh, there it is. All the roots look crazy and gnarled. That's what's eating them. Yeah, and look at this. It actually looks like there's some breakdown Where'd right it here go? in this part of the roots. It's still there somewhere. Maybe not. I don't know. It's not there. It this, probably fell on the ground. This part of the roots is really breaking down a lot. Mm -hmm. though. Not just from pulling. It looks like something was actively eating it's it. Eating it, yeah. Let's see. So now we're gonna, now we gotta dig. Well, I think we should probably get, I don't know. I know we could probably do, we could probably plant some today. We need it, yeah. I'm wondering if we should start the seeds in containers or just direct sow them. But look at all this grass, it's coming up pretty easily. Mm -hmm. So. We're gonna have to wash our hands after this. That's okay. Because we have no idea what's going on. Yeah, that's part of gardening, oh, for sure. So look at my hands. Oh gosh, you can tell the amount of strength it took to pull up those oak plants. So this hill, it was originally four foot wide, and about eighteen inches to two feet tall. Mm -hmm. But now it is sixteen foot long, so you can't really see it too much. You can see where that ochre was, but I think if we take the rake and we clear off all of the space right here then we can actually plant. I think. Yeah, you can try it, but make sure we don't take off too much soil. If not, we might have to do it by hand. All well, the grass is getting stuck. There is a lot of grass. Unfortunately, the only way to keep stuff from growing in this space is to plant something else. So it's a little challenging that yeah, way. Yeah, but we have some seeds Look in the Look at hallway. that. What is that? A cricket crawling over? We have some seeds up here. So. I don't know where it went. There's like a big insect. I think it was a giant, one of those mole cricket things, which I guess isn't technically a cricket. I don't really know. Look at all that grass. There is a lot of weeds in this space. Well, really what it comes down to is the okra was such a tall plant that I did not really Can need it. Around it. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, it oh, fell out no. on its own. <sighs> There's a bigger one right there. Yeah. But that one don't work. There's a lot. Because that one's bent. Oh, yeah. That's not a... um. That one's not a rake, it's actually like a heath fork or a potato fork. It is a potato fork. Yeah. It's to get potatoes out. Which is funny because we've never really successfully grown potatoes. Yeah. We did earlier this year have some, but the ants kind of ate. ate them. Yeah, every potato we had had drill holes and ants in it. It was messy. It's hard going a garden. It really is hard work. It is a lot of dedication. Uh, strength and muscle. Well, I think on Christmas break from school after the semester ends, because it ends next week, I'm going to spend a lot of time trying to plant yeah. more. Since school will be out. Right. And probably, uh, me and probably all of the kids would probably be out of school too. Yeah, exactly. And so this is the pile it that we have like going to. When the adults so go out of school, the kids go out of school too. Oh. Honestly, I'm ready to be out of school permanently. I'm tired. Yeah. I keep, I know this sounds crazy, but I keep having dreams that, um, 
that I drop out of school and become a farmer full time, like a little homesteading with a little farm stand and all of that. It's really funny. And I'm like, hmm. Did you? Yes, it does. It keeps getting stuck in the ground. That looks like a lot of work. I'm getting a lot of grass out. I'm watching out for what I pull out, what I have to get out with, with my hands. Oh. A lot of work. No. At least we're getting muscle, though. <laughs> yeah, I was just telling Larry, I was like, I have extremely muscular shoulders now from all of this <laughs> lifting yeah, and pulling. Yeah, we have to pull so here. I'm just going to start pulling out with my hands because that is not working well. Yeah, it seems that using your hands actually works. Yeah, well. hands are better than using other stuff. I don't know what kind of weed this is growing. It's just, it's easy to pull out because it's vining, but there's so much of it. I've never seen it before. I think a lot of stuff actually grew weed-wise that wasn't previously here from the soil and compost that we brought in. Yeah, they're really red. Mine too. Yeah. Mine are not as red as yours. I have to use a lot I'm more actually, muscle I'm, than you are. I think you're right. Well, you're smaller than me, so that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, you have. I have to use more muscle than you. Than you. I've only got like 22 years on you. No big deal, right? <laughs> not really. <laughs> so. I think actually you can see it starting to clear up quite a bit compared to what it was. So that's kind of what it was. And then the I'm areas that we've started right cleaning out, it up. has made quite the difference in the soil. Oh, oh God. The soil is actually fairly moist. Yeah. And you can see how. We really it, didn't even water this that much. No, not at all. This is actually below it is just regular topsoil, and then on top is the mulch that's broken down over the last season or two. Mm -hmm. That's just the compost thing. Do you remember when we made the video adding this hole? Well, that looks like compost, but actually is the beginning stage of a actual another bed so yeah, this I, one over I, here I, 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 wonder, I know who've been coming in here and eating. so this is basically where we've been just storing cardboard originally we had laid it out but there have been a couple of storms so we're going to come in here and lay it out some more all the way down get the additional compost mm -hmm. and then on top of it lay some topsoil mm -hmm. and on top of that topsoil we have some pine chips in the very back which i'll show you and we'll fill it in on top of that and then plant directly into it. Mm -hmm. It looks like a mess, but all this will break down. And some people don't agree with putting this cardboard and stuff in there, but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it's this or the landfill. Now, some of it that has mm -hmm. tape down there, that's got to come off. Mm -hmm. So back here, a whole bunch of cilantro decided to pop up and grow on its own. And this is where the chickens and geese and ducks were last year. Uh, mostly ducks and geese. If you can, but be careful because they like to escape that little brooder. And I know, they, can fly they just, where we threw in the plants that were drying up, that had a lot of seeds, they've grown. So now we just have volunteer cilantro all in the backyard, which is actually really cool. Um, it smells amazing and tastes really good. So... Cilantro prefers not freezing weather, but definitely cooler weather. So it's more of a fall winter plant here or early spring. Once it starts to warm up, it starts to kind of die back. So it's really cool that it volunteered here. Mmm. Wow. That's really good. Okay, I got the bat. Let me see. They really are just... Here, let me reach in. Yeah, I can't get them out. I don't want them to get out. But I gotta get the food out too. Okay. I we're gonna have to put in an additional brick or something. Cause these little booger heads are really getting a lot of shavings in their water. And their food. Yep. Oh goodness. Thank you, chickens. 
I'm worried because of the cat issues that we've had. I know, right? And other predators, because mom saw the owl out here a couple nights ago. Yeah. I'm worried about putting these guys out with the big chickens just yet, but they really are starting to get kind of restless being in here. But I'm amazed at how big they are. Mm -hmm. Here. Here. Don't escape. Good show them. I am. Good looking birds. Yeah, they're gonna escape soon. Don't let them out because they will. Watch out for those heat lamps. I know. Charlie said this one's not on. Yeah, one's not on because they're so big they don't need as much heat. Yeah, this one's on though. This one's not even hot. Yeah, one of them gets a lot hotter than the other. Are they getting so big? They're starting to get little combs and everything. I know. They're just close to this, but they're mm -hmm. trying to get out. Just close it and let's go clean out these water containers. Okay, so we're going to go clean out the water containers. I'm going to help her get the food for these guys. And yes. then we'll try to remember to record all the work that we're doing in the front and everything, yeah. which it's not easy trying to work just whenever I get over doing all my schoolwork, trying to work through that. But sometimes you need a mental break. There's that, there's that box we took the chickens home in. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. and what do you think under that? I don't know. Kick it over and find out. Socks? Sock. Who brought their socks out here? Jackson. Boys are weird. That's definitely Jackson's sock. Oh my goodness. Found my teenage brother's socks out here. He must have taken his boots off because they got water or something in them Maybe. and then forgot. Alright, so we're gonna go. Look, there's little plants growing under here too. There sure are. There are plants everywhere, but those cilantro plants are pretty cool. Yeah. My favorite part. Overall, this is pretty cleared out, so I think we can actually plant a bunch of turnips back here since it's way drier than usual. I've actually showed videos of how much water we this have, area can we hold. Have to, we might have to water the big chickens again, too. Uh, it's been over two weeks since we filled that. I think Larry filled up their barrel, but we'll go look. We have a 55-gallon barrel that we fill up for the big chickens' waters, which makes it a lot easier not having to fill it up constantly. Can we get the medicated feed? Yeah, we got medicated feed because some of them were showing signs of illness and stress with the cats and all the other predators we've had to deal with lately. Usually we feed non-medicated, but this is kind of the exception to the rule with everything going on. Alright, so we're going to go figure this out. We'll try to stay on top of recording some. It's just really hard with the holidays and finals and everything coming up so hopefully we get this done um i'm really looking forward to getting the carrots and winter gardens seeded and planted i planted a bunch of carrots in the triangle bed out front like two weeks ago but they still haven't popped up so i might need to water those in but carrots can take easily up to three weeks to germinate so um that is one reason why and another is with the wind blowing they may just be blowing right out of the garden but I don't know how to open it. it's okay sister i'm coming to open it so thank you guys for following us around in our randomness today i know we kind of started with um harvesting the marjoram which we keep calling time but it's not although because the time is right next to it it gets confusing and then we cleaned out the beds and now we're dealing with the baby chicks but all of this is done in one day so we stay pretty busy around here that is for sure 